So this is really kind of the first real rain that we've had. What would be your advice for a quartzite newbie? It's not so much a lack of internet, but it's completely unusable. Come on in to an $800,556 RV. Quartzite is a really interesting place. It's a town of 4,000 people, and yet in January, the population can climb as high as 750,000. So you can only imagine that it takes a toll on the resources of the town. There's only a handful of small grocery stores, so the shelves are bare once everyone arrives, and the cell phone coverage is just terrible because you've got so many people competing for just a little bit of signal. So my advice would be before you get to Quartzsite, stock up on supplies. Don't assume that you can just do your laundry there or buy your groceries. It's a lot better to come in with what you need. It took a while to find a spot, but we found one. Finding a spot at Quartzsite is a bit of a daunting task. It just goes on forever and ever, but we found a spot here in a nice little suburb. We're hoping it'll be good because we're not too far from the big tent. It's within walking distance for us and we're also not too far in the other direction from the dump station and the water fill up. There are hundreds of different camping options near Quartzsite. Everything from free to cheap to full hookups. We stayed in an area called La Poza West which is BLM land that's part of a section called LTVA long-term visitor area. So you can either pay $40 for two weeks or $180 for the entire season. It got a little bit busy around the show time, but it was also ultra convenient since we could walk to the show from our site. You wanna tell me what's happened? I was inflating one of our tires with our nice tire inflator. And this time I plugged it into our new little 12 volt outlet down here. And then all of a sudden it just stopped. So it appears I blew a fuse. And I don't think I have any extras of that particular fuse. What you doing, honey? Digging into the storage to find the electric components. Aha, I found it. I knew I had one more little wire with a fuse holder. Should probably do. Now I just have to replace this section of wire with the new fuse. Somewhere between 15 and 20. Go big. Well, no, you don't go big because it's whatever this thickness of wire is with 12 volts and you don't want to put too much amperage through this wire or it'll melt and possibly catch fire. Oh. That's why you have the fuse to protect your wires. So if it's a bigger fuse it could handle more amperage but then you could be overloading your wire. Exactly. So I'm gonna go with 15 to be safe. Now we'll just hook up this new fuse. While Jay finishes that up, I'd also like to point out that our road trip sign and our clock have made it without falling. And this was the first driving that we have done since I've hung those up. So I'm pretty happy with those command strips and the Gorilla double-sided tape. And that should do it. Now we flip this switch. Yep. Bingo. Good to go. How do you like your flag? I love my new flag. Now people can find us. Last step, put out the awning and hang our wind chime. We got this awesome wind chime from some neighbors of ours as a Christmas gift this year. Yeah. There you go. We're seeing if there's a shortcut to the show. <laughs> so far, no luck. Lots of fences. Some of the sand out here is like the consistency of flour. It's really poofy. Gets everywhere. So here at Quartzsite, we're gonna have our very first fire of our entire trip. So we've been camping all this time and haven't had a single fire. Let's light her up. Feeling nice and warm. It's so cozy. How's your dog doing? It's squeaking. Yeah, I think it's mine. Mine's I think it's yours. Close to yeah. done. It's getting it's there. Swelling. For sure. <laughs> yep. 
So we just checked out the Rubber Tramp Rendezvous put on by the Home on Wheels Alliance here in Quartzsite. It's a huge free convention with all kinds of talks and little events and things for RVers or people who live in vehicles. Bit of a support group really. But they've got a website, you can check out their schedule. We just watched a talk about going down to Baja, Mexico. So we learned a little bit about that so that we can prepare for a trip one day. So I'm doing another repair job, one that I've done before. This switch here on the front tends to get a lot of like dirt and salt and stuff, so it corrodes and dies. So I've got to replace it again. It's not really a difficult fix. Yep, same as last time. Light bulb looks good, switch looks corroded. And of course you always want to double check it manually just to make sure it is actually the switch and not the light bulb. Well, it's fixed. We'll see how long that lasts. One thing we didn't really expect at Quartzsite was the lack of internet. It's not so much a lack of internet, there's plenty of cell towers, you've got full signal, but it's completely unusable because there are just so many people here and they don't have the infrastructure for it. So unless you're using it like before 7 a.m. or after 10 p.m., you pretty much can't use it. So. This is a situation where we would have actually really liked to have Starlink. It's only here with tens of thousands of people that we can't use our regular internet because it's just so saturated. We've seen that a lot of people have cell booster antennas. And I don't know, does that help in a situation where like everybody's competing for bandwidth? Let us know in the comments. So we're off to the main event, the Quartzsite RV show. Yes, and today's mission is to find the most expensive rig on the lot. We want to show you what that looks like. One of the really awesome things about staying here at La Poza West is we can just walk to the big tent so we don't have to deal with parking and all that crazy, crazy traffic. RV show extravaganza. That tent at the RV show is insane. It's just a big range of everything uh, RV related and non RV related. There's so much to take in. It's definitely worth checking out. Uh, we met some some great people. We met Life Uninterrupted and we saw the Flipping Nomads Ultimate Montana, which was really, really cool and just so much to see and do. Definitely check it out. We're here with Brian and Shauna from Life Uninterrupted. What would be your advice? for a quartzite newbie? Uh, well, a couple of things. Uh, be prepared to uh, rough it in a way. There aren't a lot of services around here. We talked earlier about you know, the fact that uh, composting toilets work, work great in an environment like this. Just enjoy uh, the people around you. They're like-minded people. So. Yeah, enjoy the camaraderie. I think that's what quartzite really is all about, is the camaraderie. They say at any given time, on a popular year, uh, there are about a million RVers strolling through this area. So. That's incredible. So cool. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Of course. <laughs> That is like the most luxurious RV I've ever, ever seen. It's almost a million dollars. It's got two bathrooms, ceramic tile floors, a dishwasher. I don't even know how many slides. Storage out the wazoo, pretty luxurious. Come on in to an $800,556 RV. Here's what you get. Gorgeous leather couch, which looks like it could be a pullout. A massive fridge. Then you get your kitchen. So you've got a convection oven and microwave. A powder room, because when you have guests over and you're having a party, you don't want to send them to the back through your bedroom. More cupboard space. This looks to me like a king size bed. There's a ceiling fan. You get a TV in your bedroom as well. You got his and hers closet spaces. Step up and you get to the bathroom. And check this out, there's his and hers sinks. There's a washer and a dryer, which is a slightly oddly placed right next to the toilet. Not sure what the thinking was there. But on the plus side, you can go to the bathroom and load your laundry at the same time. A beautiful shower stall, which I don't know how to open. Aha! Beautiful ceramic tiles. Light, love lights. 
bedroom ceiling. Accent. Oh, look at the accent light that just came on. It's a There lot. are more controls here than I would know what to do with. I feel like I'm driving. Oh, oh, it has massage. <laughs> We're jogging back to the trailer. <laughs> It's a bit uh, cold and we're getting some rain. This is not really the kind of weather we were expecting. On the bright side, the rain has really limited the dust. So this is really kind of the first real rain that we've had since Napa and it's right in the middle of the desert. And it's not really that refreshing. It's kind of cold. It wasn't even that warm today. So just goes to show you, if you're ever coming out to the desert, be prepared for anything, even a rainstorm. So it's pretty funny. We have one of the top rated RV furnace repair videos on the internet. And of course, our furnace died again. But thankfully, I was able to follow our checklist. And I came out and checked the code that it was giving, which was airflow. That typically means that the sail switch has a problem and I took it off, blew out the dust, loosened it a little, and now it's going again. So there you go. If you're ever having troubles with your RV furnace, check out our RV furnace video. Oh, and by the way, RV furnaces only break at the most inconvenient times when it's cold and raining and dark. Anyways, check out that video. We'll link it up here. Um, there's also a PDF flow chart that you can download with that as well. It's been really helpful to a lot of people and we hope it'll be helpful to you. Well, it's been five days here at Quartzsite. We've seen and done everything at the show and our fresh water tank is almost empty. So we've got to dump and fill. We figure since we've got to move the trailer anyway, it's maybe time to move on to a different location. Quartzsite itself is starting to get pretty crowded and we haven't had a good internet signal since we arrived. So our next location will be a little further south, Yuma. Apparently the sunniest place on earth, according to the marketing. The show though is really interesting. Lots to see. Um, if you're first timers here, like we were this year, uh, it's definitely something to come and check out. We've never seen so many RVers in one place before but don't expect to have a huge range of services like internet, grocery stores, things like that. Stock up on your groceries before you come. Don't expect to have an amazing internet connection, at least not in town area where we are. Um, the other thing that uh, we wish that we maybe had done before coming was a little bit more research. We just kind of said, hey, look, there's something cool in Quartzsite, let's go check it out. If we had done a little bit more research and found a rally to join or a group or something to join, I think we would have gotten a lot more out of the social aspect of this uh, opportunity here. Um, so that would be one of my big tips if you're a really social person and you really want to get involved with the social scene here. It's probably a little bit easier if you've kind of made a few of those connections and plans ahead of time. One of the things I've been a little bit sad about for Benny when we travel is the smaller carrier. So today we're trying something new. We've got his backpack on the seat buckled in and a leash attached to that so he can walk out of there a little bit. And then we've got his normal carrier that he usually travels in on the floor in case he wants to go down there. The leash should be short enough that he can't make it to the front seat and get uh, cause any issues for us. But we'll see, I don't know. We're trying things out. What do you do for your cats for long travel days? I feel like he needs to be secure so that if we're in an accident, he's not gonna get really badly hurt. Yes. But at the same time, I want him to have a little bit of freedom of movement. So, I don't know. Tell us what you do in the comments and maybe we can figure something better out. Hi. Hanging out on the floor. Why don't we pull that stuff out of that shelf so you have more space? You just don't want it to look ugly. <laughs> Step two, clear your shelf. <laughs> With those, since those have been, plah. Black widows and who knows what in here. To full huck up, hawk ups? Why do I always say hawk ups? I don't know, but it's funny when you do. It's stuck on my earring. 
Um, wow. Right? You... <laughs> Quartzite is a really interesting place. That's all I got. <laughs> Mel's warming up her bottom. <laughs> Mel's toasting her tots. Make sure you don't miss the next video by liking, subscribing, and turning on notifications. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you in the next one.